Hi. I read that in the, in the United States, improving road safety, engineers are designing cars able to communicate uh, uh, Wi-Fi through a technique called vehicle to vehicle, B2B in short, car to car, no? so that the driver is informed about arrivals by other cars even 300 meters away. No? That is a fantastic invention, I think. No? Uh, but we speak about the future. Of course. However, right now, if cars could talk today, would uh, what uh, would they say? What would they say about us? Here is the story. Early morning. Peak traffic. Clocked road. No? The first voice arises from the confusing conglomeration of metal and smoke. Life is short. The scooter, the little motorcycle, says wriggling between the cars in columns. What do you mean? The preceding fast running uh, motorcycle says. I'm speaking about your half center, the former replied. Explain. What, what, is, what is to explain? Uh, if he continues to drive as well as in a video game, huh? sooner or later someone opens a door straight up on your snout. The motorcycle makes a visibly apotropaic gesture. It touches its muffler. Why? Why half center? Because if he insists in, in this way, eh, eh, no more half moto eh, and, and half man. Eh, he remains only with the second half. Listen to me. Well, at least the bike will be free. A jump packet bus screams past it by both. If you're referring to the pilot, I agree, a small car with a no noticeably nasal voice says. I cannot stand a second more with mine. What are you complaining? Uh, the bus says. Y you could get it at the most, counting the empty seats uh, to uh, five, eh? maybe six people there. Do you see? Do you see that shapeless mass of human stuff should I bring in my belly every day? It will be as you say. The little car says. Are you cold? The buzz asks. Why? Uh, when you talk, it seems you have the pipe clogged. No, I close it with a clip. I told you, I heard the guy would guide me. No, the buzz says gravely. Don't tell me. I do. You win, then. Mine are not the flowers of the field, I know, but the floodlets. Concentrated in such a small space, I think is uh, deadly. You don't know how much it is true. A violent car horn interrupts the conversation. Ah! Don't we make a move? Come on, I have to pass. A scintillating and rumbling car cries behind. Where do you want to go? The buzz replies. I don't even see the end of this road. <laughs> yes, I know, the big car says. If I had my way, I would throw them in, and I would spend the rest of my days to rust in a nice box with sea view. You are better than me, the little car says. Too slow, the big asks. No, the buzzer plays. Too much stinks. You are right, damn smoke. No, 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 you, you don't understand. At that moment, they all hear an unusual sound and every car shut down, cocking eyes and ears. A beer, huh? an animal, huh? slips on the sidewalk, although slowly, passing all of them. And the unusual noise that referred above is produced by the creak of plastic wheels. You know, the tricycle is old, but still does its job. With great pleasure, it seems, and no effort as if uh, it is just a game, traveling. Thus, in the general silence, the animal moves away to the horizon, and the same words rise from each car. Lucky him! Lucky! Lucky him! Lucky him! Lucky him! No one will never know which one they were referring to.